In this tutorial you will learn how to create a basic Moino configuration in Vinecut.net. We will deal with geometry definition, tool definition, tool path definition and CNC program generation. In Vinecut.net one normally starts a project by creating a root folder. To do this we click on the tool icon and add a folder. One can always rename a node by double-clicking on its name and input the new name. In our case we call the folder Tutorial0. The next point is adding a Mono design. To do this we click on the tool icon in the Tutorial0 folder and add a Mono design. By default Mono design always starts with a two-lobe rotor and a three-lobe stator. When a property of the Mono design is changed, the new result is calculated immediately. Now we change the number of lobes of the rotor, the major radius of the rotor as well as the eccentricity as given in our part definition. Whenever Weinkart.net is calculating, you see the calculated symbol spinning besides the current node. Now we want to animate the resulting Mono pump. To do this we select 3D Rotor and 3D Stator and you will see the 3D result of our definition. Now we start the animation and we can see the, con the current contact region between Rotor and Stator. There is also the possibility to change the reference frame from Stator Rotation Fixed to Rotor Rotation Fixed or Excenter Rotation Fixed. The next step is to add a tool. We add a side miller and then we can change its definition. So let's say we change the tool inset radius to 2.5 mm and you see that the visualization of the tool is changed instantly. Now we want to add a tool path. So we click on the tool icon again and add a machine path. Machine path always requires the selection of a geometry and a tool. The geometry of course is the flank to manufacture and the tool the tool which is used for manufacturing. Now one can scroll through the calculated tool path points and visually check if the contact between tool and a generated curve or generated contour is correct. It's also possible to check the axis trajectories for example whether they are smooth enough and do not have any spikes. Now we add a machine definition node which provides all the information of the machine used for manufacturing the part. So if there are more than one Weingarten machines available the user has to decide on which machine he wants to manufacture the Mono part. The last stage is adding a Mono CNC program. To do this we click again on the tool symbol besides the tutorial folder. The resources required for a CNC program are the machine path which we have already calculated and the MDF file for the selected machine. After defining the resources the CNC program is calculated immediately. In the length view tab one has the ability to do a simple and quick we shall check of this calculated toolpath. Additionally, one can see important workpiece properties like run in, run out length and things like that. The last point is exporting the CNC program and transferred to the machine. I hope you enjoyed this first Weinkart.net tutorial.